It's very cold outside here in the UK, but we're in the warm because the Mila S7 is nearly done. We just have to fit the last part, so let's do that now. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? The Mila is nearly done, however there's something missing here. Yes, unfortunately, my inquisitive nature got the better of me with the handle and I tried to take it apart, as I normally do. You know, I like to see if it comes apart, it comes apart and show you all how it works. However, turns out that the handle for a Mila S7 isn't designed to come apart so I broke it and I had to buy a new handle. This came the other day. It is from eBay from everybody's favourite seller of dubious tat, K Smith. But it doesn't look too bad apart from here. Fortunately the clip that holds the power collector on is broken you might just be able to see it there so we need to get that fixed let's have a look at that first because I haven't tried this yet this may not work could be interesting so let me get reset up and we'll have a look at this part now okay so sadly the clip is broken and I have just gone this is the handle for the other one and it turns out the clip on that one is broken as well, which is a bit of a pain. Because I was hoping to just swap them completely about. But, it always used to sit okay on the other handle, so I'm hoping that on this one it will just clip back in. And we shall see. Gosh, it's very, very cold outside today. It has. Look at that, that's not too bad then. I won't bother swapping because this one, the Mila isn't quite as worn and the actual whole handle itself isn't quite as worn. There we go. But I'll be honest, I can't quite be bothered today to go through all that. I just want to see if it works really. So we'll clip this back on. Yeah, this is the only part of the handle that you can take apart, that bit to get to the switches. That bit does not very easily come off of there. That bit definitely does not come under there and you'll then have issues putting the power sockets back in. So yeah, basically, unfortunately, even changing the cable is going to be a right old pain. Hi, right, let's get this fitted to the machine. At least this bit's going to be easy because all you have to do is just push down, he says, you go in. Where's it catching? Oh, that's a bit stiff. What's going on? You just push down until it clicks, really. Maybe I should push a bit harder. Oh, there we go. Like so. I think it's plan B, aren't I? Well, no, it doesn't work. A bit of honesty here. This is about a week later than the previous shot was filmed. The handle works fine. What didn't work was I had done up the fan nuts on the motor too tight and the motor wouldn't run. So that red light that I think we saw was the machine just basically saying it can't do anything. So I fitted that up and then found out that the brush roll on off switch, there's a little micro switch that sits behind the recline pedal. So obviously when you tilt the machine up, upright, it turns the brush roll off even if it's still running. That wasn't clipped in properly either. So I clipped that in, put the whole thing back together, had to take it all apart again to readjust the wheels because the rear wheels weren't sitting prop properly. 
But finally, we can see if she works. Beautifully. Works very, very well indeed. Let's just have a quick suction check while we're set up here. I'll turn it back down. Well, it's very well indeed. I found my little Mila. One of my Mila Turbo Minis, the one with the missing cap. The other one's missing its belt because I pinched the belt for the vol work to see if that fit the vol work. That's down the shed. And it makes it scream. So happy days, my £10 Mila S7 works. Let's have a close look at the machine in general. So, the elephant in the room is this hose. It's stretched somehow. It doesn't seem stretched, and if you sort of push it right down, it is fine. I'm not quite sure whether the wand isn't sitting right, but it seems to be. There's no reason why it shouldn't, as in, that part there has a latch that latches and that goes down fine, won't push down anymore, so I think the hose has just gone a bit baggy, it's also a bit of paint that I forgot to take off, but that's fine, we'll worry about that later. So we have the upholstery tool, dusting brush, and crevice tool, that's a different crevice tool from the donor machine because it was much better, and yeah. It's also got the wand from the donor machine. The one that came with this machine was ruined at the end. This one is a bit worn, but is ultimately fine, and look dandy. So it's a bit stiff to get the wand in and out. I don't think it hasn't worn very well, but let's have a look underneath. Just trap my finger in it. So underneath, it's spotless really. There's a bit of grub on there where well, I've it's been disported out of the car. But the wheels work. The rear wheels are no longer caked in crap. They were terrible. Everything spins nicely. The brush roll, it is a bit worn. I went to see my dad the other week, and he's got one of these in red, and eyeballing up his brush roll, it is a fair bit thicker and longer. But, I mean, it's not bad, it's perfectly serviceable. No. It's perfectly serviceable. Does the job and it works. So what more can you ask for? The little rubber strip has a little split in it, but I can't say that's the end of the world. Looking up at the front, it has been machine polished. It's not perfect, it is quite heavily scratched, but it, take, it takes your eye away from it. One of the issues that we currently have is... There is no filter fitted. But let's have a look at the bag. And inside here we have a pattern bag. Oh my god, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get taken by the Hoover police. I've got a fake bag in my Mila. And I'll be honest, actually, there is a bit of dust leaked out of it already. Sodding the food. This is the old filter washed up, there wasn't really anything wrong with that. And yeah, basically it's not too bad. One of the tabs on the back door, I think it's that side, is broken. But it works okay ish. You just got to be a little bit careful. He says. 
Oh yeah, it won't fit back in because there's no back in it. It does go back on, you just have to exercise a little bit of caution. But, never fear because we have some bits to fit. And while we're at this rather jaunty angle, we may as well leave the back door open because I got a letter the other week. And inside this letter was Happy Christmas from Dillis. Dillis runs Autovac in Worcester. So any UK members who need vintage parts or service around Worcestershire could go to Dillis and she sent me a genuine Miele U bag, which was incredibly nice of her, because I think I moaned about the fact that I had to buy a filter box for this. Um, lo and behold, she sent me a lovely genuine bag, so thank you very much, Dillis, if I just tilt you there. We can fit a genuine bag. I mean, there wasn't anything wrong with the pattern one per se. For testing purposes, it did the job. But now we can fit a nice genuine bag, clip the bag door down, and happy days! But wait, there's more. Because the lack of post motor filter was a touch annoying, but the filters are incredibly expensive. So, for the grand total of £5.68, I took a punt on a filter magic. He says, trying to get into it. Bojack Hepper filter for the Miele. There it is. It apparently fits it. I was very careful too in case it doesn't. There you go to fit Miele S7 7000 series active Hepper vacuum filter. And all we hopefully have to do is fit it down and clip the lid down and it does indeed seem to work it's not the tightest fit but that does seem to hold it let's just check also quietens it down a bit if I take it off That's one of the reasons it always sounded so noisy was because there was nothing to silence the airflow coming out of the machine. So there we go. We're ready for a test drive. We'll start off on low. And it runs incredibly well. Let's move rooms and do some more vacuuming. So there we go chums, my first Miele, Miele, Miele S7. What do I think? Well, it's not bad. This came off in the video, it's 
the bit of trim that sits underneath. Not too fussed about that. It's missing another bit of trim actually that I forgot to take off of the donor vacuum that I had to fix this. But again, I'm not that fussed. It runs, it runs very well. I've never had one before. And to one sense of purpose, it does work like new. It's not looking like new, it's looking nice and clean. But it runs, we can experience it, and I can say that I have owned one. So, there we go. From the utter wreck with the blown motor to almost working as it should. Thank you very much for watching. I shall have to get the refurb thread written up on this, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.